Hello my pretties. It is Friday. I meant to do this video yesterday. I had it all set up and um, <laughs> I forgot to hit record. <laughs> but how are you? I'm doing pretty dang good. Um, Um, let's see what's been going on with me into the doctor many many times but we know what it is and we're working it out all right so how are you today is finally the mime time using the products that I swatch we have the Natasha Denona retro glam truth is I've been using this all week we have the hidden dash color fluid in canvas again using it all week the jacqueline cosmetics sunbathe press bronzer and skinny dip use it half of the week and the ilia uh color haze in stutter again using this all week so let's get this ready all the other items are listed below. You know how I start with my primer. We have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. All right, so we've got some updates. Updates. Let's see, for the wedding, all the decor is done, centerpiece is done. Um, what are those things called? The, the, the flowers? The bouquets, that's <laughs> done. There was this one thing that she was looking for for the decor. She ended up going to five different Hobby Lobbies to find this trifold wood thing. She found it. All right. We're going to be using this because as my eye primer, because I don't have another. I find with this, it, it shears out quite a lot if you want more opacity to it I would say put more layers I have used this as a concealer as well uh, doesn't really do much does it lighten a bit sure But as far as coverage goes, no. See, so yeah, I have a pretty light base now. Oh, so she went to five different Hobby Lobby, she finally found it. Um, we live in South Jersey, in Maze Landing. <laughs> she drove home with it. She's got it, it's there. Um, just the other week, I was like, hey, are you doing any party favors? You know, something for people to take home so they can remember the day. Look, as much as I love this shade, it is the same color as my skin, so that's my base color. And you know what? And like, I remember when I got married, and my grandma, my grandma had this really big doll. She was dressed in all lace, she had this big hat, and all the weddings and... Holy Communion, baptisms, 
we would have these ribbons, you know, that you would just kind of loop like that and you would put some kind of thing in the center, but it would have your names and the date on it. You, anyone know what I'm talking about? Well, she had this doll and it was covered in those ribbons. Like the dress completely covered, the hat was covered. And that was like her, her memory wheel, you know. These are all the places that I've been, all the places that I've got to celebrate life with. And so my daughter's all like, mm, party favors, that's an old people thing. We're gonna, we're gonna go with this one today. This is not dark at all. It actually takes a lot to build it up. But she told me that's like an old people thing. We don't really do that anymore. Young people. Right, so I was like, okay. All right. Show my age. All right, that's whatever. <laughs> but I was just like, you know, there. And I'm not for having junk around the house and things like that. But, you know, I find. Like, say you get a personalized bottle, of, mini bottle of wine or champagne, you eventually use that. We're actually going to go in this shimmer color up here. It doesn't provide much shimmer, but I need some, something to deepen this. So... So she was telling me how she was making macarons for the wedding and I was like why don't you like I found a little clear box you put a sticker over it people can take some cookies home in a nice cute little box which has a sticker of you know the date and what it was cute and I figure since you're already making them, what's a few more? So like I bought her some extra eggs because she was she had to make a lot. I'm gonna be buying the boxes. She is also doing cake pops. I'm gonna buy some boxes for the cake pops. Smoky. Let's see. Um, There was a dress that I wanted from David's Bridal for the thing. And I was going to order it. And then the unthinkable happened. Uh, they declared bankruptcy. We're going to take this green. Yes, they declared bankruptcy. And they said anyone who has already put in their order will get their ooh will get their their items shipped no problem anyone putting in a future order uh, 
that's hit or miss. And I said, fuck it. Fuck, man. Like, okay, I want to do the darker green on this side. And I was like, that's, that's out of the running. So uh, last weekend, I was up till like two o'clock in the morning searching for dresses online. I found one at H&M. It gave me butterfly vibes and I was like, oh, I like that. It was $75. Okay. I'm gonna kill my son right now. We'll continue that later. Um, the, the, this Derma Blend Flawless Creator has a lot of pigment to it, but it's kind of flat, so I, I did what I always do when something doesn't work for me. I added it to a gel moisturizer. While it's lighter, it looks a lot, lot better. And the, I don't know, the, the flatness is kind of gone away. So this foundation in this way works way better than straight out the bottle for me. Um, where was I? Oh, the dress. Right? So I was just like, oh, $75, that's a lot. And it's not a dress that you could wear a lot. Okay. I told my husband, I said, I, I love this dress. But it's $75 and you'll probably think that I look old, like it's an old lady dress. I was like, but with the styling of it, it's just giving me butterfly vibes. Like the, the sleeves are so big, they would just flutter in the wind, on the beach, you know, butterfly vibes. Uh huh. And I like it a lot. I just have to. I can't justify it. That dress for one day. So. Um, last Wednesday, I went and got my permanent crown and I was right there next to him Ross and Marshall so after this was done I went over first Marshall's they really didn't have anything that I liked there was this cute top yellow top that I liked but that's not what I was there for <laughs> so I went to Ross. Let me tell you, the Ross in my town is not good. Like it, it looks like it's like they just have a few pieces around, but not like a lot. Right, but looking, I found this. I saw this dress and it was in a much smaller size. Really cute, like shirt dress. Has pockets. The way the belt was, was really cute. It was like a flat bow. Like it just, it came out the package in a bow and it was pressed down and I was like, ooh.
And I was like, okay, I wonder if they have it in a larger size because definitely not that size. And so I start perusing. I found it in a larger size. And I was like, is it too large? I don't know. So I went to the fitting room with the one item. Because that was the only thing there that I was like, ooh, okay. Okay, this super pigmented. I didn't put a lot here, so. Um, so I tried it on. It was a perfect fit. Perfect. And it covers everything that I want covered. That I'm not so, you know. We all have our insecurities. While I'm losing weight and I'm officially under the 200 mark, I'm not where I want to be. But it covers the chest, it covers the arms. It is midi length, so it goes beyond my knee. And I will be holding the baby because she's one of the flyer girls. And so with this, I don't have to worry about um, anything falling out or her grabbing part of the dress and flashing people. I don't have to worry about that. I really love that color haze. It has the pigment there. It has, it does set. It is so nice. Like, let's wait until you see it on my lips. Right. Not the right color. Like, the color is white. It's given me. Come to my Hamptons house. To my summer house in the Hamptons. You know. That's what it's given me. And I like it. And again, it's a dress. I can wear my loafers. I can wear a heel. I can wear a sandal. Doesn't matter. Very versatile. And it has pockets. All right, I've used this. First time I used it, I just went ham and that was too much. Still smells like hazelnut coffee, but I find if you just like, just really lightly, it's very warm, bronzer. Makes the blush a little bit more peachy. But you don't need a lot with this. Minimal is key. And then I kind of chisel myself a little bit. Oh, so the dress. Perfect. It's just wrong color. I sent it to my husband a picture and he was like, you look good. Right? Because it, it like cinches in the waist just a little bit and flares out in the hips. It's just 
It's the shape that I want. And so it's a white color, but I wanted a dress that's more burnt orange. It goes with the theme of the wedding and also um, We all know the rules to a wedding. You don't wear red. Cause you're saying that the bride is, is a whore. Black is, a, is perfectly normal for any occasion. And you don't wear white because you don't want to compete with the bride. That is the biggest no-no. Like yesterday, she just sent me a text about someone wearing... <laughs> a TikTok about someone had the audacity to wear white to their wedding. And so I was like, mm-mm. So like, I, I kind of want it to be this color. So I'm going to get some dye and dye it. Because when uh, white is stains very easily, I'll be holding a baby. And I don't want that. For eyeliner, we're going with the color pop. God, I even had this one. So I hope I can get that done this weekend. I'm gonna go with a comp this and this for underneath. Her their cake toppers came in. They're adorable. I can't discuss them because I don't want to let the cat out the bag. We're just gonna go simple and put this here and here. We'll see. Now as far as my health goes, uh went to the doctor, the orthopedic, the hand guy. Where he tells me that my EMG is, came out normal. The bones in my hands, my ligaments, my muscle, everything in my hands is fine. So he believed that whatever is going on with my hands. And, oh, it's not the pinched nerve that he thought. that it's going up, it's something in the shoulder, right? So I saw the shoulder guy, like the very next day I saw the shoulder guy because I was in pain.
So the guy does some tests, like in the room tests, and he goes, I know exactly. I know exactly. And I was like, you know exactly what? And he's like, okay. Whenever we try to press down or do anything with your shoulder, you don't like it. Your body doesn't like it. And I'm like, no, I don't like it. So, he goes, your rotator cuff in your shoulder is inflamed. I can give you a shot for that. Because that should alleviate some of the pain. Help you gain your range of motion back. I was like, okay. But what about this pain in my shoulder blade? I was like, it feels like I laid on a very pointy rock and it has now entered my body and lives there forever. And he goes, oh, let me see. He touched that spot. A sound came from my body that I have never heard ever in my life. It hurt a lot. Like, I was almost in tears. But I'm a pussy ass bitch, so I didn't cry. But it was on the verge. <laughs> okay, this metal tip feels so good on the lips. So good. Like, I want to take this tip off and put it on one of my eye creams and have that use that underneath my eye and on my eye so he says he goes you have a subluxation and I said a sub what he goes, subluxation. He goes, that's when your vertebrae, on your spine, is out of alignment and it is pinching that nerve that runs along that and it's causing all of your problems. All right, since that's pinched, you know, your hand is weak and numb and everything I had to switch to a new one it's a venti thank goodness my hands are working again because this is a hard hard thing to to press down it goes so it's causing the weakness in your hands and in your arm and he goes go to the chiropractor I promise you that first visit, you will feel like amazing. And he goes, but we'll give you a shot to help. The shot like alleviated the pain in my elbow. I would say 60%. Right, and, and the, my hand, all that went away. see you back in a month because the cortisone shot is only temporary so a temporary fix right so I go home I relax I find that um cleaning the shower is too much <laughs> too much okay everything started hurting again so I make an appointment for the chiropractor I've never been to a chiropractor. 
for that following Monday. Monday that just happened. They do their tests and they're like, your orthopedic was right. It is a subluxation. She goes, we have a lot of muscle to work through that's really tense and, and hard because, you know, you've been in pain. Everything's in pain. She's like, but twice a week for four weeks, we can get this fixed. I'm like, sweet. That first visit, I slept like I was a dead person. I felt so good. Like she, there was a little crack in my neck, but not where my pain is. But, you know, she massaged, she did percussion, she did microcurrent. And it all felt fantastic. And I would say I am at, I've had two, two appointments with the chiropractor. I'm going to say I'm at 75%. Back to the way I was before this pain. And they're like, how did this happen? I was like, I don't know. I just woke up like this. And they're like, this is typical in a car accident or a fall. I said, no, I didn't do any of those. I just woke up. Oh, and they told me to stop sleeping on my stomach. It's only hurting it more. And I was like, damn it, I don't like to lay on my back because I sit on my ass all day so my ass hurts. I don't want to lay on it too. And they're like, lay on your side. But it's all been working. And I'm at 75%, I would say. Like, I still have some pain. But the weakness is just gone. Mm. And it's been nice to like get back to to me, to feeling good, to being able to do my makeup without having to shake my hands out. What do you think? This palette. I stand by the I want to kick these pinks right out of the palette. I would replace those with maybe a deeper green, a more shimmery, maybe turquoisey green, and like a a cream, cool toned nude. Because I wore this and this one, you know, the two colors, that's it. I just wish that there was a lighter cream color in here. This one, I wish it was darker. I do. I wish there was just more, but it does blend out really nice as you can see. I even wore this one yesterday with this color in the crease. And this in the outer corner. That worked well too. And I did put that pink in the inner corner. That didn't do much. But I do. I would make some tweaks to it. It's not perfect for me. But I really like these greens. I like the way it all looks together. I would just, I just, those pinks, you know? This, after you put on the, the bronzer, the, the hazelnut coffee smell kind of dissipates, which is nice. A little goes a long, long way. 
because this is this bronzer is gonna last me like two lifetimes okay two lifetimes because it's huge huge the hidden dash color fluid as i said if you want more opacity you've got to put on layers i'm guessing that's kind of his thing okay layers because uh his eyeshadow palette is the same thing it takes a lot of building up to get what you want and sometimes it doesn't even do that but um it hasn't messed with the quality of the shadows that I used as a concealer mm. yeah no 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 it's not enough my my favorite thing that hands down best thing Ilya okay it has the pigment for a blush it is fantastic looking on my lips. It sets. My lips don't feel dry and cakey. Like, they get dry because it, I don't have any kind of protective layer. You know, like a balm or a gloss over top. So, thing. But I don't have to worry about it. It stays there. That's it. And when I eat, like, it comes off. But it doesn't come off in a garish way. I have worn this, uh, like this. I have used the Wayne Goss one. Oh, my lips look so juicy right now. I used the nude liner. That one was not my favorite. This is, yeah. Um. And I would say this one is much better than any other multi-pigment I have used. I have the Danessa Myricks one. I have a Peace Louise. That bullshit from Key Soul Care. That bullshit from RMS. Check all them out. Just get this one. Okay. I want... I want like a nude nude. I want red. I want a brown. <laughs> and it's all a clean formula. So that that's my, I want more and I, I want more colors. Cause that is phenomenal. It doesn't remove any foundation here. They did a superb job. That is, that's the one. All right, and with that, I look pretty. I feel good. I have full mouth of teeth. My shoulder is feeling fantastic, and I gotta go to work. In which I no longer have to wear a mask. glad you i hope you guys like this i hope you guys liked my updates thank you for watching please like and subscribe and uh have a good day and i'll see you in the next one